So let's look at another tutorial. And today we are dealing with analysis of an over-reinforced beam. So by only looking at the question, we will not know if it is an under-reinforced or over-reinforced beam. We have to check first which type of beam it is and then we have to calculate the ultimate moment carrying capacity of that beam. So our question is to calculate the moment carrying capacity of reinforced concrete with width of 250 mm, effective depth of 400 mm, area of tensile steel reinforcement 3600 mm square, the grade of concrete used is M20 and steel used is Fe450. So we will try to solve this numerical using two methods. In the first method, we will first calculate the ultimate moment carrying capacity considering that the steel failure governs the design and then we will check it with the ultimate moment carrying capacity for concrete failure. And in the second method, we will solve this numerical by finding the depth of neutral axis and comparing it with the limiting value. So first method is comparing the ultimate moment for steel failure, MUS. This is for steel failure with we will compare this with MUC. This is for concrete failure. As we discussed in our last numerical, we performed a check at the very end to confirm that our consideration of under reinforced was correct. This is a similar approach. So let us first calculate MUS for steel failure. MUS is given by the formula 0.87 FY into PT over 100 1 minus FY over FCK into PT over 100 BD square. Remember we also derived this formula in our last lecture. Last lecture means the lecture before our numerical class. We derived this. If you remember, we derived the formula for Yamian over BD square in terms of the percentage of steel reinforcement provided PT. So this PT is the percentage of steel reinforcement provided. So we carried this BD square to the right hand side and this is our formula now. So PT first we have to calculate here. PT is given by AST over BD into 100. So AST we have 3600. B we have 250 and D we have 400 into 100. This comes out to be 3.6%. So use this 3.6 instead of PT in the above equation. We get MUS is 0.87. The grade of steel used is 415 into 3.6 over 100 1 minus the grade of concrete used FY is 20 by 4 sorry this is FY so FY is 415 over 20 and PT again is 3.6 by 100 B we have 250 and D we have 400 square. So if you do this calculation, you will get the answer in Newton millimeter. And if you convert that into kilonewton meter, you will get the value is 131.5 kilonewton meter. So this is our moment of resistance considering steel failure. Now let us calculate the moment of resistance considering concrete failure MUC. And this is again given by one of the formulas that we derived in our class. For Yafi 415 grade steel, our formula is given as 0.138 Yafck BD square. That means 0.138 into 20 into 250 into 400 square. You will again get this in Newton millimeter. Converting it to kilonewton meter, you will get as 110 kilonewton meter. 
Now let's compare these two values. You can see that the moment of resistance considering concrete failure MUC is less than the moment of resistance considering steel failure. Hence, what we can say is concrete failure controls the moment of resistance. So since concrete failure controls moment of resistance, this is an over-reinforced beam. And the final moment of resistance is the lesser of these two values, which is 110 kilonewton meter. So this is our answer for the first method. Now let us do this or solve this numerical again using our second method, that is by determining the neutral axis depth. First, let me select a different color here. Second method is determining neutral axis depth x for steel failure. So we have the formula to calculate the neutral axis depth. Remember in our lectures, we derived this formula by equating our tension force with the compression force. So the value of x is given is 0 0.87 EFY AST over 0 0.36 FCKB. So 0 0.87 FY is the stress that is induced in our steel reinforcement considering that our steel has yielded. So this will be 0 0.87 into 415 into 3600 divided by 0 0.36 into 20 into 250. You will get the value of x to be 722 mm. So if you look at this value of x 722 mm which is the depth of neutral axis with the value of d here. d we have 400 mm. And you can just guess that something is wrong here. The depth of our neutral axis should not be greater than the effective depth of our beam section here. So something is amiss here. So just note that x is very much larger compared to d. So since the value of x is very much larger, let us calculate the limiting value of x for under-reinforced section. Limiting value of x is given by 0.48d and this is for the FE 415 grade of steel. So 0.48 into 400 gives us 192 mm. So while our limiting value of the neutral axis depth was 192 mm, if we calculate the neutral axis depth, we got that as 722 mm. So since the value of x is greater than the value of limiting value of x, our beam section is over reinforced. over reinforced that is concrete failure controls the moment of resistance of our beam so finally knowing that our beam is over reinforced we will use this same formula here that we used here to calculate the moment of resistance so you can just say m u here is given by the same formula 0 0.138 fck bd square and the answer comes out to be 110 kilonewton meter. So what we did in our first method was that we did not directly determine whether our beam section was over or under reinforced. We determined the moment of resistance for both steel failure and concrete failure and then we compared those two moments of resistance and we saw that the lesser value of that moment of resistance is the governing criteria. Since our moment of resistance for the concrete failure 110 kilonewton meter 
is less than this yamurias we knew that concrete failure controls our section in this case and finally we took the lesser value that is 110 kilonewton meter as the ultimate moment of resistance whereas in our second method we first determined whether our beam section was over or under reinforced by comparing our depth of neutral axis with the limiting value of the neutral axis depth and since we got that our value of neutral axis depth was very much greater than the limiting value our beam section is over reinforced we determined that our beam section was over reinforced beforehand and we used appropriate formula to calculate the moment of resistance knowing that our beam is over reinforced so these are the two ways to determine the moment of moment of resistance of an over reinforced beam so this brings us to the end of this numerical year from our next class we will start with the design of singly reinforced beam so till then stay safe and thank you